can find beauty in everything. And bedsit is a great contrast to the kinds of interiors that we aspire to have our work in. You can seek inspiration in this, you know, the smallest of stains and splatters and the bits of decay can then become something quite comfortable and quite beautiful. And I, I guess people's idea of a bedsit is usually pretty grotty. And I quite like to extract something nice from that. So we're kind of adding luxury to what would ordinarily be conceived as quite repulsive. It's the perception of what you see as being beautiful. So it's taking that original idea of something which is quite ugly and then transporting it into something quite beautiful. I think our work is, is not for the faint-hearted. I guess there's an association with uh, the kind of work that we do, because it is wallpaper, that you're going to have to live with it for a while. I don't mind if people don't like the work or don't want to live with it. I mean, it's not necessarily completely about that anyway. I mean, I think our work is about experience. I'm more and more convinced, actually, that if you try and second guess anything, you usually end up condescending your public or your, your people that you're kind of trying to talk to. In our leaner days, we would want to get more people to like us, so we would try and be a little bit more commercial. That didn't work for us at all. The, the reason why people buy us is because of this love-hate relationship. It's just as important that we've got people that don't like our work because that helps create the kind of niche brand. And it's that kind of level of appreciation that keeps our business, it keeps it exciting. The people that kind of like our work also like the fact that some people don't like it. If people come to see this, I'd like them to take away an idea that, um, as a design company, we look for inspiration in, in the oddest of places. You want to spend as much time being creative and being able to enjoy that experience in order to you know, fulfil you know, and, and, make, and make lots of different products and make sure that you, the work that you're producing is rounded. I mean, everybody loves to sit and draw. But if you don't know how the kind of business side of it works, you know, you'll struggle to do this. It's taken that extra step. And had we been a big bit more business aware, we would probably have got further quicker. So it's, whilst it was incredibly enjoyable, you were kind of flying by the seat of your pants a lot of the time. It was very much um, sort of tooth and nail and peaks and troughs and um, feast or famine, really. So yeah, get a bookkeeper. My impression of the college so far is fantastic. I mean, I kind of had a little walk around and um, actually it reminded me a little bit of when I was at art school. It seems to be a place where there is actually some desk space and um, there is actually facilities to make stuff, which are the kind of uh, main things. And your time at art school is incredibly important and it's incredibly important to be able to use the place. You know, that's my big thing when I was at art college. You know, it's to, to kind of be able to come up with the ideas and have the time to produce those ideas and the facilities to do them to then bring out into the big wide world and, and I think that seems to be all here which is fantastic. Mm -hmm.